So in this video, uh, we're going to be talking about Trump firing Jeffrey Berman and kind of some of the, I guess, implications of this or sort of the, the issues around this, say. So US President Donald Trump has fired a top prosecutor who refused to leave office, um, Eternal Ge Attorney General William Barr said. So the issue was, Barr said, you know, um, you know, Barr was asked, did Trump authorise this? Barr said, yes, Trump was the one who made the decision. And then Trump was like, I didn't make the decision. And then Barr was like, you kind of did, bro. You kind of did. And so that's the thing here. So Trump wanted this guy out. So Berman, the US um, attorney for the Southern District of New York, SDNY, said on Friday that he has learnt he was stepping down in a press release. Mr. Berman insisted he would stay in post and continue his investigations, which, you know, he, he's been let go, essentially. On Saturday, Mr. Barr told him he... he um, had asked the president president to remove him immediately and that he has done so the uh, u.s top democrat pelosi said there was a base and there were base and improper motives in the sacking of mr berman and that attorney general must be held accountable for his actions and so what what this means is this is the guy who has had a lot of trump's friends prosecuted for um a lot of illegal things and this is the guy who trump feared um the most and so if we look at the replacement trump tried to get in um it was this guy jay clayton who has a um, pretty cool name, to be fair. Trump's new SDNY nominee link to Deutsche Bank, a $10 billion prop problem. So this is the guy who defended Deutsche Bank in a lot of the allegations with them doing like things like money laundering and things like that. And so Clayton's a very dodgy character, to say the least. And um, so what Trump wanted was a pro-corporate guy, especially because Trump owes uh, Deutsche Bank, um, I believe, a lot of money. And so by Trump doing this, he's doing essentially doing Deutsche Bank a huge favour because this guy would turn a blind eye, potentially, to um, Deutsche Bank's dealings or he'd have to reclu uh, re uh, recluse, is it recluse? Recuse, recuse himself um, from um, a lot of the cases involving Deutsche Bank because he's had, you know, he's received funding from them, essentially. They paid him to be their lawyer, so he would have to recuse himself um, from this. And so if we look here, James, Jay Clayton, low profile regulator, is catapulted into a political fight. So um, amid muted um, tenure at the um, SEC, the corporate lawyer is now the Trump's um, administration's intended nominee to be the top uh, prosecutor for the um, Southern District of New York. So I can't remember who they got in. Um, Audrey Strauss, that's her. So um, Audrey Strauss is a... Uh, Berman's replacement and she was uh, Berman's um, deputy I believe so she's ideologically she's far closer to Berman than she is to Clayton and so this is not a person that the Trump and the gang would have wanted in and so um, you know Trump did fear SDNY and there are you know because they have they are going after his financial records because of the um, allegations Michael Cohen put where he said that Trump basically um, committed fraud when it came to um, getting loans and he frauded the uh, taxpayer, I believe, because what happened was he said to the um, the taxman that the, mo the property is not worth a lot. But when it came to getting loans from like Deutsche Bank, he inflated the price of the property. So there's a massive discrepancy um, there. And so um, these these are the people going after um, Trump. And so if we go to this this article here. Chaos. Their purview. All right. Bob Mueller has a task. It's Russian interference and potential collusion in the 2016 election. Southern District of New York is whatever the heck you want. And so particularly when, if you find stuff. That's right. And <laughs> you've got Michael Cohen, the, the president's former lawyer, as a tour guide. That means you could go anywhere. Right. And so. And so basically Chris Christie talked about how, you know, Trump was uh, SDNY is essentially the real threat here. Um, but yeah, so if we look here, Chris Christie is also the guy who did Bridgegate, where he shut off a bridge because someone wanted to do a study or something like that. And one of his um, one of his workers or one of his um, yeah one of his workers um, got got hit with the rap for that, and it caused massive problems. And so that's Chris Christie. And so there are two reasons why, you know, there are a few multiple reasons why Trump could want this guy fired. One could be because he's investigating Trump. One could be he's invested, he investigated Trump's friends. And this is um, a reaction to that. And there's there's two more I'll give you. So Supreme Court decision about getting Trump's finances. So. So in the, in this article, they should talk about it somewhere here. So the U.S. Um, Supreme Court humiliated Trump and his lawyers by unanimously rejecting by um, nine 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 oh nine to zero nine nil. Um, the Trump team's extreme view that as President Trump was absolutely immune from any subpoena and therefore is above the law, Trump's um, lawyer, Jay Sekulow, uh, may have claimed victory. I know what spin is, believe me, tremendous. Um, and that here it is. So in addition, um, by a 7-2 to two vote, including two Trump appointees, the High Court allowed um, a federal or state grand jury subpoena to be enforced against Trump while he is president um, to obtain... Um, to obtain documents potentially uh, relevant to criminal investigations. So what Michael Cohen had alleged was that Trump was involved in corrupt dealings 
um, that he and Trump, so he implicated himself in this as well, that he and Trump had been involved in corrupt dealings. And um, so what the Supreme Court ruling means that Trump's um, finances can be um, gotten um, if the if they are investigating um, Trump's you know finan finances, and so Trump won't be immune to this. And so this is po possibly one of the reasons Trump got wind. Trump knew this was happening, and therefore he fired um, um, Berman and wanted to get Jay Clayton put in, um, because Clayton would be a lot more lenient towards Trump and might not actually investigate him. Um, the other possibility is that um, Trump knew that they're going after Maxwell, Jelaine Maxwell. And that Trump was trying to get ahead of this as well, but you'd have to be under. You'd have to believe that Trump is some sort of forward thinker in the sense that he knew things are coming, and therefore he tried to put in place um, people that would not prosecute him or would be a lot more lenient, um, e.g., Berman or sorry, not Berman, Clayton, um, to protect himself from the prosecutions going in um, in the Southern District of New York. So I don't know, um, you know, what's going on there, but this is a big story. Um, I know it's a bit later on, but at the same time, um, you know, well, whatever. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this, you know, about Trump firing Berman, you know, why he would do this, um, you know, and the implications of this, you know, regarding, you know, Maxwell, uh, regarding um, uh, his finances, regarding this guy going after Trump's friends. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.